Part 5. We are going to continue with functions and linear graphs. You will find this on page 143 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Straight lines with two variables. Y equals MX plus C. The general equation of a straight line is Y equals MX plus C where M represents the gradient and C represents the y-intercept. Okay, so M and C are constants. M and C, that means it's specific numbers. Where Y and X are variables, that means it stays Y and X in the equation because the coordinates change on the line the whole time. So the value of Y and the value of X are changing all the time. Okay. So we call the value of y, we call it the dependent variable. What you are calculating or finding, it depends on the value of x. But we call the value of x the independent variable. What you are changing, you can use any number as the value of x. But the value of y is depending on the value of x. Okay. Vertical lines will be x equals and horizontal lines will be y equals. Okay, so x equals is vertical lines. It cuts the x-axis. Remember, x equals, it cuts the x-axis. Okay, so let's look at an example. There is an example. It cuts the x-axis at negative 1. Therefore, the equation will be x equals negative 1. Then y equals is horizontal line lines. It cuts the y-axis. So if I look at this, it cuts the y-axis at 2, therefore it's y equals 2. If I look, for example, at another one, this, the, although the name is the x-axis, the equation, but the equation of the x-axis will be, it cuts the y-axis, so it's y equals 0. Remember, this one, the name is called the y-axis, but the equation of the y-axis, it cuts the x-axis at zero. They, therefore, the equation will be x equals zero, so the opposite. So although this is the x-axis, the equation will be the opposite, y equals zero. Although this is the y-axis, the equation will be the opposite, x equals zero. Okay. Then the point of intersection uh, will be where the two lines intersect there, so go to your x-axis, that's negative 1. Go to your y-axis, that is 2. Okay, I want you, let's just mark it. I want you to do try now 7, draw the graphs of the following. Okay, I want you to do number 1, and then if you finish with that, you can also do number 2. Okay, let's just get a grid. Here's my grid. So the draw the graphs of the following lines. It's not a lot, so let's start by first drawing the grid. I will now write. Okay, there's my grid. Okay, this will be my, there's my arrows. So the x-axis, remember. And this will be my y-axis. And this will be try now 7 and it's number 1. Okay, so draw the graphs of the following lines. So let's start. X equals 3. Okay, let's, let's first number our X so that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. This will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And this will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so if I start here, then it's x equals 3. So it will cut the x-axis and it will cut it at 3. So there is the line x equals 3. And it can also continue. Okay. Where is the line y equals negative 2? 
Now, it's there. It cuts the y-axis and it cuts it. Oh, let's just make another straight line. It, use your ruler. Y equals. So, this is the line. Y equals negative 2. And then if the next one, now, x equals 0. So it cuts the x-axis and it cuts it at 0. This is 0. So it's on the y-axis. So this will be the line. Okay, let's just write it. x equals 0. And then x equals negative 2. So it cuts the x-axis and it cuts it at negative 2. Oh, sorry. Let's just use a straight line. Use your ruler. So this is the line, and it cuts the x-axis, and it cuts it at negative 2. And then the last one, y equals 0. Now, again, it's more or less the same. So it cuts the y-axis, and it cuts it at 0. Oh, again, straight line. Use a ruler. So it cuts the y-axis at 0, so the equation will be y equals 0. So although the, the name is the x-axis, but the equation is y equals 0. The name is the y-axis, but the equation is x equals 0. Okay. And then if I look at number 2, let's see if we can fit it in. So this is number 2. Write down the equations of the following lines. So if I look at A, B, okay, where is A, B? Can you see it's there? It cuts the y-axis at 3, so it's y equals 3. If I look at the next one, uh, the next one, D, C, just write it here, D, C. Okay, where is D, C? Can you see there? So it cuts the x-axis at negative 2. So it will be x equals negative 2. And then EF. Let's just find it. There it cuts the x-axis and it cuts at 1. So it's x equals 1. And then the final one is GH. Now where is GH? It cuts the y-axis and it cuts at negative 1. So it's y equals negative 1. And that's the equations of all the different lines. Okay. Now let's go on and let's just look at this one. The line y equals x and the line y equals negative x. So y values must be equal to the x values. So if it's negative 3 and then it's negative 3. Negative 1 and negative 1. 1 and 1. 2 and 2. And it's a line exactly in the middle, and the gradient must be positive. Whereby, this one, the, the numbers will be the same, but the signs, if you look at this one, will be different. So if I look at this one, then, then I think there is a mistake. So if it's negative, then this one will become positive. Let's just change it. So this will be positive. This one will also be positive. This one is just zero. This one is negative, negative. And now plot it. So it's negative three and three. And it's negative one and one, zero. And can you see that the gradient is negative? So it will have opposite signs. If the C value is zero, the, w the graph will go through the origin. Okay. I want you again. I want you to complete the tables and draw the lines. Uh, draw it on the same system for me, so on the same coordinate system. So I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now eight, number A, as well as number B. Okay. Um, as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. So let's just make space. We're going to start this one all over. Which is going to create space. So if I start with my different lines, okay, we, we're going to start first with the tables. But I'm just drawing my coordinate system. Okay, but let's start with the table. So it's try now, try now, eight. 
So if I start with number A, and again, I'm just going to create my table there. I think we can do it like this. Okay, it's quite a few values. So we will fit in there. So we go even on to there, there, and there. And then the next one, let's see if we can fit that one. We, we can actually just use two blocks. It will fit. Okay. And let's see if we fit in. And this one is the same. So first your tables. And then this one was, okay, let's just see. This was y equals 2. Oh, let's just get our pen correct. Y equals 2x. And this was y equals negative 0.5x. Okay, so this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. Now, I gave you the x values. Remember, that's the independent variable because I can choose any value. So, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, but if I give you the values, then you have to just substitute it into the equations. So, if I substitute it there, so 2 times negative 2 will be negative 4. Okay, if I look at the next one, then it's 2 times, so it will be negative 2. This will be 0. 2 times 1, it's 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. Now, for this one, it's a half and it's negative, so the signs will change. So, it's positive 1, and if I do, for example, this one, so it's positive 0 0.5, then it will be 0, then it will be negative 0 0.5, because it's just 1, and then it will be 2, and it will be negative 1. Okay, so just substitute it into that equation. And now, let's just get our scales correct. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, and there is my different lines. Okay, so let's plot that points. If I plot that points, let's start with the first one. So it's negative 2, there's negative 2, and it's negative 4. And then the next one, it's negative 1 and negative 2. And then 0 and 0. And then 1 and 2. And then 2 and 4. So basically, we're just going to draw that lines. Okay. And then just write the equation. So this is y equals 2. Ooh, let's just get the pen correct. It's 2x. And if I plot the next one, let's do that one in red. So it's negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 and 1. And then negative 1. Okay, there's negative 1 and 0 0.5. So it's in the middle between 0 and 1. And then 0 and 0. And then 1 and negative 5. It's in the middle again there. And then 2 and negative 1. And if I take my ruler, it's just going to be... And now let's just write the equation. So it's y equals negative 0 0.5x. Can you see? I would just want you to notice that... This one, if you look at this one, this one is a positive gradient and this one is a negative gradient. Because there's no value of C, no value of C, both lines will go through the origin.